What's up guys, I'm the EFC Vlogs, back here with another vlog for you guys. Today's vlog is EC versus South End, and today's game is going to be very, very interesting for East Leeds' point of view, and especially South End point of view. I said with South End, they're bringing, last time I heard was 527 fans, but that was yesterday, so they'll be definitely bringing more. I reckon close to 600 maybe. If it was on a Saturday, they were buying a lot more fans, but... So 500 plus fans is very good for Tuesday night. They kind of sit in 12th with 38 points and 11 points off the playoffs. So, so you, from their point of view, if they win tonight, then they can really charge on and go towards the playoffs. They haven't lost in the last six games, I believe it is. And especially the last three away games they've won. So, so coming to this game, they'd be up for it. From an easy point of view, we haven't been very good lately. Obviously struggling to make his score goals, managing to, to get a, struggling to get a win. So today's game has to be a positive point of view from Eastley. Obviously last game we let go of Tom Whelan and then Josh Hare as well. We did sign someone from Bournemouth, a replacement for Josh Hare, because he looks like a very good promising player. If you wonder why there was no vlog on the weekend, I did go to the Notts County game, but... The show has told me off. It told me off like 10 minutes into the game. And the clips I had wasn't long enough to make it like a good video. So I obviously didn't upload it. With easily last five games, we're currently sitting 22nd in the, in the league table with the last five games. Managed to only getting two points with two goals scored and conceding six, which is a very disappointing. The other worst team in us is Woking, which they managed to only get one point. But my score prediction today... I'm going to go for a loss because I can't see us beating South End with a form they're in. But obviously from the fans' point of view, hopefully we can get behind them and anything can happen. But obviously my score prediction today, I reckon we'll lose 3-1. Right, we're clear on score prediction. 3-1 uh, South End. That's what I said. Score prediction. 1-0 
Why is, why is Kelly captain? I just, wait. I've just deeped it. Where, where's Boyce? Andrew. Where not? What's the wait? What's the count? It's gone. Come on, Vinny. servers and PC components, desktop PCs, laptops and workshops. Our match ball sponsors in recognition of the sterling service provided by Warren Horses CJ Smith MB. Stay safe on your way home ladies and gents, look after yourselves, your families and your loved ones. The car park will remain closed for approximately 10 to 15 minutes to allow the safety of the pedestrians leaving the Silver Lake. When you leave the car park, please turn left at the entrance and exit for easing of congestion. We want a shirt. We want a shirt. Next up here at the Silver Egg on the 5th of March is Wheelstone at 3 o'clock. I'll just let on the pitch. I'll just let on the pitch. I want to find my shirt. Oh, 
Where is they from? There you guys, that's the end of the vlog. What a game it was. Obviously, drawn more one to South End. I expected us to lose, but to be honest, we could have won that game. South End played very poor, you could say. And one of the fans were messaging me saying we should have won that game. South End didn't play great. But obviously, the atmosphere, the form, of Eastern point of view, absolutely brilliant. Whoever came, majority of these people don't often come to games, but Wherever they were, I was going to say um, fa fa thank you to you lot for coming to get behind the boys because they need it, especially the, the form we're in. And the only way to get them back up is obviously being a 12th man and I believe that helped today. In the first in the first half, I think, where everyone was there and sort of bouncing up and down, the floor just could have like sort of caved in, which obviously could have been, could have been dangerous. I wouldn't think it would have collapsed at all, but I think that's why... You see in the video, Kenny comes in and saying everyone to sit down and stuff like that. But obviously, we wasn't they wasn't going to listen. But that's the reason why they obviously moved to Sego in the second half. And obviously, that's why we didn't return back. Because they weren't really let us back up there if all of us came back. The game could have got abandoned if obviously the stadium collapsed that, that bit there. But obviously, the club needs to address that. And obviously, if they want atmosphere like that, then they've got to somehow sort the... That um, flooring out. I believe that cost us in the second half. Obviously, when Southend did manage to pull it back, I think if we stayed up there and was allowed to obviously create, create the atmosphere we were creating the first half, I believe we could have basically won that game because we'd be in the 12th round. But obviously, credit to Southend as well, all their fans coming over, especially on Tuesday night. Brilliant support. Obviously, I thought they'd be much louder, but I'm not too sure because we were loud. I couldn't hear as much. I say good say credit to them. They do do bring a lot of following ever, wherever they go anyway. So credit to them. And also I did see I see one of them running on the pitch at the end, getting a shirt off to one of the I think the player who scored. So obviously I'm not, I'm not too sure how he got let on the pitch. He managed to do it and he got the shirt, which obviously he must be happy for. But that new signing, what a cross it was onto Pritchard's foot, lucky tap, and then went post and then and the amps was and that for that goal was absolutely unreal. And then, then the second half sort of eased off and then they managed to pull it back south end, which obviously I, I expected that. I don't I wouldn't have thought if we go straight into second half um pushing, but later on we could should have scored. We had a four or five chances. Hopefully you can improve that in the within the next couple of games. Our uh, next game is against Bournemouth. I don't think I'll be going to that game. If you follow me on social media, then I will let you guys know. But at the moment I'm not going. Anything can happen between now and then. So yeah, if you enjoyed this vlog, give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and potentially I'll see you the following Saturday. I think that's again the well stone at home.